I cleaned up all the parts with isopropyl alcohol and left everything to dry, so now I can assemble the phone again. I just double checked everything before starting because realizing something is missing after you put the screen back on is a big pain. The power button goes in first, since it just slides into place. The squeeze sensors go back in too, without their adhesive it's fine. Then the speaker can be slotted in with the top right corner under the right squeeze sensor. The little copper connector needs to be nudged into place. Now the microphone goes back in, with the charging port on top, and then it's opening in the body of the phone. Now all the little connectors need to be pushed back into their places. The wires have cable management, so be sure to use it to avoid putting them in the wrong place. I find the antenna connectors the worst to put back on. The screw can go back into the charging port to hold everything down. Two at the base and one higher up. Then the motherboard is ready to go back in. Remember to connect the antenna wires on the underside with the fingerprint scanner before laying it into place. Try not to get frustrated. If I find something too fiddly, I step away for a few minutes and come back to it. Better that than breaking something important, which in a smartphone is literally everything. When everything is back where it should be, the battery can happily go back in. Remember to actually plug the battery connector into the board before you finish with the assembly, so you don't have to repeat the adventure like I did. Remember to use some pull strips to stick down the battery, in working phones, because if it slides around it can damage the device. I think everything else is held by screws apart from the screen which can be stuck down with double sided tape. With the battery back in place, all the other connectors can be clipped back together, don't forget your headphone jack. You can test boot the device without the plate clipped back in, but remember the earpiece won't be there. Just to touch the screen and try to boot. I just went for it and put the plate back on. The earpiece connector is really fiddly for me, so it took some time to get it into place. The screen goes on last and just clips back into its original place. If your device works, don't forget to screw the little cover back on. And now the phone will boot back up and work again. Or not if your motherboard is shorted out by salt water. It was worth a try, and that should get you a fully assembled Pixel 3a, working or not. I hope that was helpful for any repairs people need to do at home.